Hey everybody, this is Adam again from hookandclaw.com. Today's video, we're gonna be painting our bass that we got ready. Um, we're working on a bass series from start to finish, how to mount your own bass. Uh, check out our YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe to it. Um, you'll get to see all the videos they already come out with. Been a long process, but uh, we're almost at the end. We've been having a good time meeting a lot of new fans and uh, can't say you know how much I appreciate all the new fans that have been reaching out to us saying hey and asking questions and you know giving us a little encouragement um, go ahead and tell you paint uh, it's probably the hardest part of uh, mounting your fish uh, I recommend you know don't get discouraged because um, your first paint job ain't gonna turn out good you know mine you know, as you can see uh, that bass right there I'm proud of the bass had a great time catching it mounting it in a uh, taxidermy school Paint job is subpar. I quickly found out it's a bit of a learning curve the painting and um, It's just one of the things where practice makes perfect and uh, Continually practice 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 take advice from other taxidermists uh, YouTube's a great you know, place to see uh, Different styles of painting. There's really not one um, necessarily right way to paint there's you know ten ways to skin a cat there's also ten ways to paint you know everybody's gonna have their own uh, method I've tried a lot and I've the good thing about painting if it turns out you don't like it you can always uh, use your Windex I'm using water-based paints instead of uh, oil based so if it don't turn out good spray it down with Windex wipe it off start back over after it dries it ain't a big deal um i painted a fish three or four times before before i was finally satisfied so it ain't that big a deal uh, especially if it's your first fish don't get discouraged because uh, if you don't cuss trying to paint a fish might make you want to cuss don't do it though because uh it ain't no reason to get discouraged but we're gonna have a good old time i'm gonna explain to you uh, my particular method which, like I said, ain't right or wrong. It's just what I've done, and um, I've so far, and it's be beginning to work on me a little bit. I be feel more confident about it. Uh, like I said, I use water-based paints, and a little bit easier for me to work with them. Uh, first, plus they don't have the fumes you ain't got to deal with, so that's a plus. Uh, and I use white, black, yellow red you know I don't use a green I use that uh, black and the yellow to kind of make the green kind of hard at first but practice makes perfect you know I suggest you know getting your five or six fish to practice on and just keep on practicing you know uh, spend hours and hours painting and painting and painting and, and look at other people's work it's nice to have a fish uh, that has a good paint job to either use as a reference picture or even get on your phone and have a picture of a bass ready for you uh, so you can look at it to have a good reference to paint it makes it a whole lot easier because once you get painting all that stuff goes out the, your head and you just want to spray 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 uh, number one advice less is more uh, the more you start painting the more you keep on painting it's gonna get darker and darker and like you know I'm guilty of it and a lot of the new newbies are too. You just keep on painting, painting, painting before you know it. It's black and you know, looks like the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> and uh, which is a good learner thing, but the more and more you do, and uh, I spend a lot of time watching other people, uh, people that have been doing text terms for years and years and years, and less is better and, uh, with painting. Well anyway, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do before we paint, we're going to spray this on it. It's a sealer and um, helps keep all the fungus and everything off. Uh, it's kind of like a primer if you're painting a car or something. So we're going to spray this all over the fish. So when we get, I'm going to do that real quick. You go ahead and do it too. And um, when we get back, uh, we'll start the first step. See y'all here in a little bit. 